Morning, everyone. So it is the last week of phase one. Thank God, man. It has been so many reps, but it's been such a great time. Great experience shredding with my beautiful fiance, getting ready for our wedding, and then also really enjoying internal medicine. Really experience the entirety of medicine. You know, when you approach a patient, it has to be able to figure out every one of their problems and being able to treat every one of them. I've truly enjoyed that. So I hope you guys have been enjoying the program, loving doing all these reps during the workouts, love doing the Bible study plan, and then also, of course, whatever you're doing, chasing your dreams. I hope you've been able to balance it all and enjoy that. All right, so I'll have an upcoming video talking about phase two, what to expect, how to attack it, how to adjust your caloric intake if you need, things of that nature. All right, well, I'm about to get off to the hospital. We always have meetings at 7 a.m., so I cannot be late. I love you guys dearly, and I hope you have an incredible week. Whew! The end of phase one is near. And then only 10 more weeks. 10 more weeks. You can do this. I can do this. Phoebe can do this. Let's do it together. 10 more weeks. We got this. Woo. About six minutes, gotta make sure I'm not late. It is a beautiful, beautiful morning here in Elizabeth, New Jersey. Father, I'd like to lift all my subscribers up to you as we are ending phase one and we are all chasing our dreams with everything we have and trying to pursue the passions that you've laid on our hearts. Father, I ask as we go on this journey and as we encounter many trials and obstacles and sufferings that we do not grow tired and we do not grow weary, that when these uh, trials come upon us, Father, that we'll fall to our knees and call upon your name, call upon the Holy Spirit to give us strength to continue to endure this path that you've marked out for us, that when trials come that we will rejoice because we know that these trials will produce perseverance and endurance and then build in us character for you, Lord. And so, God, I ask that as we are pursuing these dreams that they never become one of selfish ambition, but that our dreams and passions are fueled only by your passion to show others your love. So God, I ask as we continue on, please give us a heart that loves unconditionally. God, give us a heart that has endless love and relentless passion for the things you've placed on our heart. Thank you, Father. We love and praise you. Amen. To start this workout off, I did 10 minutes of cardio. I just ran at a pretty decent pace. Got in about 1.2 miles in the 10 minutes. We had to modify the back workout a little bit because I hurt my back doing squat two weeks ago and hurt it again this week. So here we're doing cable pulls and you can see a nice slow movement and really squeezing um, at the end of the pull there to really engage your lats. Uh, here we have Phoebe doing some dumbbell rows. And so on this you could either use a bench or you can see we're just propped up using the dumbbell rack uh, to bend over a little bit. And with these you really want to get full extension going down and then pull all the way through your back. And another way you could even increase the movement a little bit more is to twist your wrist um, inward to really get that pull on your lats. And next we're going to do three drop sets of eight on these cable rows and these really get to burning. But you really want to get that full extension on the way down and then pull all the way back and hold there for a count at the end of the movement. And again, this is three drops. You can see there I started off with a heavy weight, dropped about 30 pounds, and I'm going to do eight more reps. You guys count, make sure I get all eight. Hopefully I did. And then after this, you'll do one more drop. And this is where it really starts burning. So you're going to drop about 30 more pounds and then do eight more reps with that same arm. And then in this, you can see that sometimes I touch my lat, and so that's just really to help me to think about the muscle group I'm working and to make sure that's the muscle I'm contracting. So you do three drop sets with one arm, and then you're gonna switch arms and do the next, and you do three sets of these three drop sets. She 
obviously does not have enough weight, if she can say that. I hope you guys enjoyed Phoebe singing while she was working out. So next we uh, begin traps, doing some barbell shrugs here. And again, I hurt my back, so I'm not using as too much weight. Um, but again, just doing some barbell shrugs. And then after this, we ended up doing some dumbbell shrugs here to end with. So really try to pull with your traps and make your shoulders touch your ears. Another thing, try not to make a funny face. Doubt you could do it. All right, that's it for the workout. I hope you guys enjoyed phase one. Next week, we start phase two. You better be ready. It's about to get even more intense. Title